D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So I watched the latest episode of Star Girl, and. I just want to say real quick about this show um, before I break it down. And it won't take me too long because here's the thing about this show. I feel like we're getting just the same episode as last week, just a tiny bit like different. And I'm all like, I, I you guys, like it wasn't bad. And I still like the show because it's wholesome and everything. But I'm critical of other shows that I don't like because of the writing. So I have to be critical of this show also. Because this writing is is not bad. It's just, like I said before, very, like, it's boring. Um, and it's a little, you know, starting to get redundant because it's pretty much the, just the same thing. And I'm all like, listen, if you're just copying, pasting, and then changing it up a tad bit, like 30% to, to say it's a new episode, then I go, daddy no like. Um, but um, I just, and, and plus the season, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but it's like this murder mystery and the only clues that we're getting are this dude and with gloves and you know he likes to make puzzles and watch people on tv screens Which, by the way cctv the in in uh 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 blue brook whatever this place is called i can't remember blue jay uh is boring as shit nothing's going on like uh, you know nothing's exciting is happening in this town and so except for what he's doing so i'm like let's let's pass um, I do enjoy the actors. They're all doing a pretty good job. Even the ones like the secondary characters of the the JSA who have like pretty much nothing to do in this season. And their storylines are just very like boring. I'm I'm just like, you know, we need to we need to ramp it up. Like daddy needs something more exciting than what's going on. Also, the visual effects are very good. Very good. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's my story. I'm going to take this off because these are actually starting to hurt my eyes. Sorry, I like wearing this, but I, it was actually starting like my eyes hurt right now. Uh, apologies. I, I, I like wearing that little mask. All right. Now that I've gotten all my thoughts, uh, my initial thoughts out of the way, I'm going to break this sucker down. But before I do, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm. And small channels like mine, we always get shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's break this sucker down because I have thoughts. So it starts off with Cindy in the ISC headquarters where she was using as her base of operations she's staring up at the now destroyed picture of uh the isa um and you remember starman did that last episode because he was all like you know yelling at this painting they're laughing at me ah! and i'm all like okay whatever freak so then uh she's packing it up and her eyes go all lizard like like her dad like the dragon king which is fine but i just go nobody's i don't know this is the thing about this character i did do i don't read um oh i have read uh jeff john's jsa since the 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 first season or whatever and um and he's he's going to start writing them again it's pretty good uh, but this character is just very like i don't know um yeah, just you know, whatever in the comic book. She's like very nonchalant to me. So it's like whatever. So then she goes back and everything. She doesn't notice her little lizard eyes. So then uh, it's nighttime. And uh, what's his face? Uh, not Connor, because that's the other dude. Mm, I mean, it doesn't matter. Hank, he breaks in. Our man breaks into the gym to work out. But he's just pumping on the, the things. I was like, ooh, I wish I could put that many weights on. I just do the bar. Like, I'm all like, yeah, that's 45 pounds. You know, every now and then I'll put a bagel on each side. So, you know, it's a little bit more weight. And I'm like, oh, mm, delicious. And they're like, don't eat the equipment. And I'm all like, calm down. And I'm like, oh, and they're like, don't slam the bars down. And you're like, all right, fucker, calm down. Anyways, so... Uh, he's all pumped about that. And of course, this like this, this little freak with the puzzle is watching him. And at first I like was looking at this puzzle. And I was like, what is that? Is that a dark hole? I was like, what's going on here? It looked, it reminded me literally. I was just like, is that the, the, the ring from the ring movie from the, the poster, the ring poster? And I was like, and then the, the Samara girl's going to crawl out of the puzzle. I was like, this, that would actually be way more interesting than this episode. Anyways. So then we go over to Yolanda. And Wildcat, and she's in con uh, confession. And uh, she's all like, uh, she's like, Preacher Man, 
I wish I could tell you what goes down in this town at night, but I can't. And, he, and he's all like, trust me, honey, I know what goes down. Everybody talks, especially to me. Um, and she's all like, I, she's like, uh, she's like, you know, I, I, he's like, uh, I'll forgive you, you know, for your, your mistakes or whatever. She's like, oh, father, I don't want forgiveness for what I've done. Mommy wants forgiveness for what I'm about to do. And I'm like, ooh, I'm like, dirty girl. She's not a dirty girl. Anyways, so we hop over to the uh, Star Girl house. And uh, what is it? this kid? I can't remember their names all of a sudden. I'm like, I'm like drawing a blank. He's juicing. By the way, I've juiced before. Juicing is all right, except here's the thing about juicing, okay? See all of these these vegetables that are on the um the counter right here? You're going to use all of those vegetables and you're going to get like a glass of juice. That's how it is. Uh, juicing was fine. Uh, it just took for freaking ever. I was all like, why would I do like I still have my juicer and I'm like, I don't think I'm ever like you, you spend money on a juicer. And then I literally was like, I think I'm never going to do this again. I should just give this juicer to somebody else. Yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Okay. So uh, they're all like, well, and the 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 Crocs brought it over and they're like, well, some of this, all the vegetables and stuff. And they're like this. And the mom's all like, I think that it would be nice. Yeah, they're extreme, but I think that it would be nice for some of their habits to, uh, you know, for us to absorb some of those because they do have some and they're healthy and that's good. I'm not I'm all about being healthy and everything. But uh, uh, those people take it like way too hardcore. Like they're like that last one when they didn't eat pancakes and, and waffles and stuff and they had like you know, oat bread, oatmeal or some crap like that. And I'm all like, ew, nobody wants that. So then like, where's Courtney? And they're like, so she's helping Connor remember his name because <laughs> she's helping him to develop his powers. I don't know why I did this. Uh, but uh, so he's doing his thing and he's like, I don't know how you know this. And she's like, when I was in California, my gym uh, teacher told me. So he uses his powers. He's like, I did it. <laughs> And then he created a sculpture of his dad. Now, I just want to say, Connor, for everybody talking about how great an artist he is, he makes a lot of ugly shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to his dad. Like that big mural he put on the side of that building. I was like, oh, you defaced it because this is not good. <laughs> you know, your dad was good looking. Your painting is ugly as shit. <laughs> Van Gogh, you are not my friend. Anyways. So these two losers are taking chocolates and flowers over to Cindy so she can join their team. Now, I don't know if they create a team in the comic books because this guy, this character does not exist, uh, the son. Um, uh, Jamil does exist and he does get Thunderbolt, the little, the little pink dude, but uh, that one does not. Which, when are we going to see Thunderbolt, by the way? Because I don't remember if we saw him the first, no, we haven't seen him yet. So then they're all like, uh, if chocolates and flowers don't work, then we'll try something else. Give her that hot D. Maybe that'll help. And they're like, uh, we bring gifts. And she's like, mm, no. And she closes the door on them. So then these uh, these guys are all talking to Starman, who is now leading the JSA, which we find out later. Not that we didn't know. And they're like, we found her the laptop in Cindy's room. And dun, dun, dun. Oh, hold on. And so he's all like, great. He's like, uh, Beth, can you download all of the stuff on here? And then Cind uh, and then uh, Yolanda, you need to put it back in Cindy's room. And they're like, why? And he's like, because if you don't, she'll know that we're on to her and she might run. Cindy is not the murderer. And uh, we all know that she's not the murderer. Uh, but this show is, you know, I feel like they're acting like we're dumb and we're not. Now, I'm not saying the episode was bad. It was just a little boring because I was like, okay. So then these two are taking some excess vegetables over to the uh, grandparents of Connor. I don't remember their names. The people with the weird accent, the Polish accent. And they're like, we brought you some vegetables and we came to talk. So they go in there and he's like, I'm, I wasn't expecting guests, but we made you the Lutafisk. They are Polish. I think he's Polish. Maybe they're Netherlands. I don't know. Polish, Polish cousin of lutefisk and they're like oh i've never had lutefisk before i've never had lutefisk before but it sounds freaking awful it's like you know lie you just soak fish in lie for like a million years to eat it <laughs> and i'm all like great next i'm gonna eat rat poison anyways so i'm gonna eat i'm gonna eat a hamburger with rat poison sprinkled on it it's so dumb anyways okay so they're all talking to him and they're like talking about connor and uh uh courtney and 
they're they're talking about how he's a good artist and they're like Courtney is really special and she's like what do you mean by that and she's all like have you ever lost a child and I'm like why would you ask her that you crazy bitch uh of course she has never lost a child because her child's in your house oh so obnoxious uh these old people it's like fuck you old people um so then Courtney's like why are you guys here and so we hop over to the diner where these two asked uh Zeke about women. And I just want to say, don't get me wrong, Zeke is very cute. I I I fuck Zeke and everything because he's so manly with his with his with his muscles and his, his garage work. If anybody knows about smashing pussy, it's Zeke for sure. <laughs> and then he talks about how he danced with the Duchess. And showed her the funky chicken or some bullshit like that. And uh, and then they're all, he's like, so I can help you with a woman. He's like, but there's only been one woman that's ever tamed this heart. And she's standing over there and it's Maria. And I'm, I'm like, how would we know that? There has been no indication whatsoever of this. So they leave and I'm all, I, 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 I'm, all, you know, I feel like they, they got no help whatsoever from Zeke. Don't get me wrong though. I love Zeke. He's great. He's great. I do like his character. It's just Zeke is uh, <laughs> not who I would go to for advice on, on girls. Uh, yeah. Okay. So then these two, they're all talking to them. I can't remember what they say here. And it literally doesn't matter because then the dad's all like, oh, this Lutefisk was so great. Uh, it goes up there with all my favorite other fish. Didn't mention salmon, delicious, or like marlin. Marlin's delicious too. Mm, there's a lot of good fish out there. I enjoy fish. I'm not eating lutefisk and everything. I don't like. I don't like um stuff that can kill me. Go into my food. You know what I'm saying? I mean, one well, then why do you eat pesticides? Get out of here with that nonsense. Anyways, so I just don't like bugs in my food either. So then they end up leaving and they're like, Courtney, why didn't you tell us about that? And she's all like, I'm helping him. I can save him, you guys. I love him. And then, uh, you know, the weird dude is watching them because this is this is must watch TV. So he's building this puzzle. And it, even at this part, I was all like, I do not know what he is making. But isn't that the point of a puzzle? You don't know what it is until you, you start building it. He's very good at it, though. He can just like pick up a piece and put it in there. I was like, look at you. I was like, you are a, a master of your craft, my friend. <laughs> Puzzling. <laughs> so then Beth is doing her work. And the parents come in and they're just basically like, did you block us out of the, the goggles? I believe it was the goggles. She's like, yeah. She's like, I just don't want you guys a part of this. I, I don't want you guys to die. Yolanda comes over. She gets the, because she copies everything. Uh, Beth does. And then Yolanda's taking it back. And then she's like, hey. She's like, What's, is everything okay? And she's like, yeah. And then she's like, hey, if your parents wanted to, would you ever get your to tell your parents or get your parents involved in what you do here? And she's like, no. In a million years or some crap like that. And she's like, but that's because my parents suck. Your parents are awesome. And I want to just say, Beth is not wrong here because anybody that knows, knows anything about superheroes, once you get your loved ones involved, they are in danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. It's just So just get over yourself, Beth. Come on. But she's going to, you know, she's going to get her parents involved and they're going to be super obnoxious like she was in season one. So then Connor sends over some flowers and it says, thank you for giving me hope. And then she should have just called them up and be like, who the fuck is hope? Anyways, so that would have been so good. <laughs> Anyways, so then Yolanda is putting back the thing and uh, she gets a little buzz because she's she sees that somebody's got somebody. There's there's some live uh, uh, video cam going on stuff. And uh, then Cindy's like, I knew you is you. You left a scratch on the window. So the last time you came in. And so then these she's like, she's like, I'm going to kick your ass. So they start fighting. Not, I mean, like it was fine. And uh, Cindy gets knocked out of the house and she sees what's going down on the screen. And they're, they're fighting, fighting, fighting. Our man throws a, a van, which I'm like, whose van was that? And so they're, they're fighting, fighting, fighting. And uh, she's got on her goggles and uh, Stargirl shows up and she blasts them all with her little, little rockety rocks. And she's like, what the hell is going on here, guys? And she's all like, she took the laptop. And then they're all like, uh, you know, the at the, the house, the DNA, it wasn't Dragon King. It was you. 
It's like, and, and us as the audience, we're like, you guys, Courtney, JSA, try to keep up here, okay? We're we're one step ahead of you fuckers. So I shouldn't be swearing. Uh, there's no need for that. This is a wholesome show, so we should be wholesome. Anyways. And then she's all like, uh, I can't remember what they say here, but she's like, stop looking at me like I'm a freak and everything. And it's like, it's really hard, though, because you've got like scales and like weird eyes. So she leaves. Oh, oh, before that, she tells them that Chet, Courtney has been helping Connor develop his powers. And they're like, what? So then back at the thing, they're like, how could you do that and everything? He's a monster. His dad was a monster. His grandparents are probably monsters too. How could you help him out? Or at least not tell us. And she was like, I was going to tell you. And they're like, they're, he's just like his dad. And she's like, he's not. And they're like, he is. And she's like, but he's not. I love him. <laughs> and they're like, and she's like, listen, maybe it's time for me to step away from the JSA for a little while and have Starman lead. And then uh, the hour man's all like, yeah, he has been. And I was like, yeah, because he's a has-been. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, I don't like that Starman's here, and I don't like that they're sharing the staff, and I don't like that he's leading around a bunch of little kids. Like, what a weirdo. It's like uh, it's like those guys that like hang out with high schoolers because they 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 peaked in high school. Anyways, so she's all hanging out in her room, you know, lamenting about how stuff sucks. And Starman comes in, and I can't remember what he says, but he talks about his sister and how she was in love with Brainwave, and he kept telling her he's no good for you. And he kept saying he kept thinking like that Brainwave, you know, mind controlled her into loving him. And then they had Henry, Henry Junior. Uh, brainwave junior 2.0 um and she was happy and then he killed her uh and uh, i'm like oh great story bro <laughs> so then uh i can't remember what he, the advice he gives her but i guess it was good advice because then pat's all like oh, i can't give you any uh good better advice so she's checking out the stuff and uh this oh this where he's like i can't give you any advice better advice than Starman just gave you so then Beck comes over to their house and she's like, hey, guys, I'm going to make some juice. Great. And everything. It's so she can make some noise. And she's like, don't freak out. But I found a surveillance cameras all over the town. Um, and they found one in their kitchen and they're all looking at it and everything. And uh, I can't remember what he says. Uh, but then it goes to this this uh, puzzle with the dude watching them and it's a skull it's a skull and it's like you know because if you remember from season the finale of season two in fact the last shot of season two we had mr bones remember him i don't know anything about him really so i can't really comment on him as far as his character goes but that was the puzzle that he was building and i was like oh okay that kind of makes sense and that's where the episode ended and like i said before it, it this show is this episode was not bad i'm not gonna say that it was bad because while watching it i was like all right let's see where it goes from here but when it ended i was all like mm, it didn't really go any go anywhere meaningful like we are nowhere closer to figuring out who this person is who the the bone guy is the bone the puzzle builder and we have no um we're not even closer to figure out who killed the gambler was it this puzzle builder or was it one of his like henchmen uh which we don't have we haven't seen any of those either um it's just a lot of like high school drama which i get it that's kind of what it's about and everything but i was just expecting i'm ex i was just expecting the story and the plot to go just a little bit further in terms of figuring out the mystery of who killed uh the gambler and we didn't get that which i guess is fine but not really um but yeah those are my thoughts and everything about this episode i like i said before it wasn't bad but it wasn't great uh they just need to work on stuff a little bit i i think so well they can't work on it because it's already done uh but yeah all right, those are my thoughts, you guys. Tell me, what did you guys think about this episode? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you like me? You think they're just taking it a little bit too slow this season? Um, or do you think the pacing is great and they, they're they doing A-OK -okay by you? Um, who's your favorite JSA member? I'm going to have to say for me, it's Courtney. I, 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 I like her staff. I like her outfit. I think she's great and everything. Although I do like Starman's outfit, too. It's pretty cool, too. All right. Um, and then, yeah, just tell me what your overall thoughts are about this season so far. Um, you guys can leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you new my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week on my Stargirl Breakdown and Review. You guys have a good week. Bye.